Hey guys, my name is Cassandra and I am here with Rear Results Fitness to give you a quick workout that you can do in your home with some basic equipment if you have it with you. This workout can be done with a single kettlebell or it can be done with two dumbbells or one dumbbell. I'm gonna show you how to different do, do both of them. It's a low body workout when you're doing this, so the focus is always gonna be on legs. Make sure that you warm up actively, roll out your, your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings, stretch your hamstrings, and then also get your calves as well. You wanna get your body nice and rolled out, and then you wanna activate as well. Also the glute area, you wanna activate your core because a lot of your power comes from your core. Uh, make sure you tune into one of our warm-up videos, our lower body warm-up videos to show you how to accurately do that. I'm gonna go ahead and dive right into the workout. I'll do it with you the first round. Your goal is to do two or three rounds, and the magic number is 20. So here we go. The very first one is gonna get us nice and warmed up. So we're gonna be doing a kettlebell swing. So you wanna set your kettlebell out right in front of you, nice little tripod. Make sure your heels are always connected into the ground. Chest is high, shoulders are pulled back so we're not concaving in in any way. That's how we protect our low back. So when you come forward, you're gonna bend at the hips as most of a kettlebell swing is a hip motion. It is not a squat motion. So we're gonna be hinging at the hips and then powering and squeezing the glutes, driving all of our power forward. So keeping that chest up, you're gonna grab that kettlebell and go ahead and go for 20 swings, keeping that chest up nice and tall. The bell is swinging right between the legs. So what it's not doing is it's not coming down like this and we're keeping our chest back so that we're not using our low back to swing. So chest is up nice and tall. So go ahead and get those 20 swings in there. Keep going, I'm gonna show you how to do this with a dumbbell. If you have a single dumbbell, you wanna grab the head of the dumbbell just like this, same motion, you're holding on to it, keeping that chest up nice and tall, hinging at the hips and sticking that butt back. So that's your first one. You're gonna go for 20 reps for a Russian swing. Our next one is gonna be a squat and press. You're going to take your kettlebell, you can hold it around the horns, or you can do what's called a crush grip position. Now with squatting, make sure those heels are always connected and the hips go back like you're getting ready to go to the restroom. You don't want to have them come forward here, push them on back. So from the side, you're going to squat down, 90 degree angle, press and power up right here. So again, you can do a crush grip or you can hold the horns itself, sit back, power up, sit back, power up. So this workout is best when you have a heavier dumbbell or kettlebell to really hit those legs. Here's how you do it with the dumbbell. Again, you're on 20 reps, so keep going. So sitting back, powering up. Now when you're powering up, make sure those ribs stay tucked in. You don't want to be arching. Keep it in like this. Protect the core, protect the spine, and back down. So that is exercise number two. The next exercise is a Romanian deadlift. I like to explain this as you're taking a bow, it's a hip hinge. Chest is lifted nice and tall, and you're bowing. Pretend like you have a door behind you, and you're trying to shut it with your glutes. Keeping that chest up and back. So you should go and feel a nice, good stretch back in those hammies. We're not locking our knees. Keep them slightly bent, just like this. And again, keep that chest lifted so that you're not rolling and using that low back. So with a kettlebell, chest is up. Going to feel that nice, good stretch in the hamstrings. Good, squeeze. Power squeeze back on up. So this is a nice good Romanian deadlift, stretching out those hammies and building up the strength in the hamstrings. If you have a single kettlebell, or you could do it with one or two dumbbells. So dumb, two dumbbells right here, chest is lifted. You're basically going all the way down like you're skinning your shins, and then you're powering back up, squeezing. Good, biggest thing too is make sure that you keep your chin tucked, look up with your eyes, not with your chin. So you can also do a single dumbbell right here, chest up, down, and back up. So go ahead and do 20 of those. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can do 10 on each side, 10 left and 10 right. So this is a single leg remaining to lift, chest is lifted, power and down, a little bit of balance, and then coming back on up, keeping that chest lifted right here. You wanna keep your hips nice and square for this. What we don't wanna see is we, want, we don't want to see you coming down and rotating out in any way. So think about lasers coming from those hips and they're staying towards the floor the whole time that you're going down and then coming back up. Again, going to feel a nice, good, gentle stretch in the back of the hamstrings. So our next exercise, back to a little bit of cardio, is called a cheek clean. So with a kettlebell, 
You're going to do that hip hinge that we did before. Chest is up, you're gonna grab the kettlebell from the top, and you're gonna power, all the power comes through the hips and the glutes as you're coming up. It's not a lift, it's actually, I like to say it's like dropping your phone in water and you're trying to get it out as fast as possible. It's a power motion. So you're here, chest is up, you're gonna power up, and then you're gonna let your hands slide from this side, holding the kettlebell from the top, down to the sides like this. So it's gonna be down, power up. It's a nice, good, quick move to get a little bit of cardio in as you're going. Nice, good power through the hips. Now, if you're doing it with a dumbbell, you can do a single one. We'll call it a single, a single leg snatch or a single arm snatch. It's the same motion. Chest is down, chest is up. You're powering through the hips. Snap it up overhead, come back down, alternate hands, power it up and snap. So again, it's a good power move, good cardio. All you need is a single dumbbell to do this one. Again, like your iPhone, nice good power, don't let it fall into the water. All right, y'all doing okay? So you can either do 20 total of the cheek clean or you can do 10 and 10 for each side for the alternating dumbbell. Um, our next one is gonna be a glute bridge. So taking your kettlebell, coming on down towards the floor. So make sure when you're here that your heels are connected into the ground. You're not pushing through the toes. Chest is up. You can hold it down towards your hips. So you have the weight there, you're gonna squeeze on up and then come back on down. Squeeze on up and then come back on down. If you wanna work those shoulders, you can lock out those arms and you can do the same thing, squeeze. Or if you wanna add some lat motion, you can actually come on up, let the arms go back, come back on in, and then press back down. So nice little chest press, shoulders here, in, and then back down, and then you can lower. So squeeze, press, back, in and then back down. So a great way that you can work the, the hips um, and you can also work the glutes and then you can work the uh, upper body. Again, you can do the same thing with the single dumbbell, same concept. You're just gonna hold it right like this. So go ahead and do 20 of those. And our last exercise is called an up down. So hip and knee hinge. You're gonna be on the floor for this one. You can have your single kettlebell, heels connected to the ground, chest is lifted. You can either hold, again, back to the, the kettlebell uh, crush grip, or you can hold to the side, or you can hold it in a chicken wing, keeping the elbow locked in towards the side. So this one, all you're gonna do is you're gonna power through that front foot, and then step back on down. So you're gonna do 20 total, 10 on each side. Um, it's a great modification down from doing a reverse lunge here to coming down towards the floor. Make sure that you get both sides as you're going. Again, 20 total, 10 and 10 on each side. And then if you can, go ahead and repeat it two to three times, or two or three rounds, and you'll get a nice, good, full lower body workout using just either a single kettlebell or two or one uh, dumbbells to do this. So thanks, guys.